We've had a lot of requests for an anniversary card and the Dreaming Tree team has delivered. Uh, Ron came up with a really cool little card that's quick uh, and you can personalize it with a nice photo of uh, the couple that are celebrating their anniversary. So uh, let's take a look at what I have here. Uh, very simple little project. And uh, we're gonna begin with, well, the card base, simple card base, I believe it's five by seven, it is. And uh, well, we're gonna begin with this peach colored uh, piece here. And this is gonna get glued down to the uh, face of the card. But we do have a little template so that you can cut out a nice little photo. So that's what I'm gonna do first. And we've got some little markers here and I'm gonna flip it over because I'm gonna put the photo, I'm gonna glue it to the back side of this little piece here that holds the photo. So we're just gonna put a little ring of glue around the perimeter of the circle and try to keep that glue within the guidelines there that are put in place for you. And I want to just kind of make sure that I get it nice and centered. Okay, so as far as the orientation, and then I can flip it over and take a look at where it's actually sitting on the back, and that looks good. So we'll press that down, make sure that that stays, <clears throat> okay? And then we'll take this entire piece here, and we're gonna glue this to our card base. So go ahead and get your glue on this piece. It's a very, very quick card, but whoever the couple is that's celebrating, surely going to appreciate it and I'm willing to bet they will proudly display it. Okay, so let's get that on there and we literally just want to make sure that we get this nice and centered and there's going to be a nice even border going all the way around this piece here. I'm doing my best to get this centered here. I need to bring that down just a tad. There we go. That looks about right. Okay. Might have had a little bit of glue that kind of went crazy there, but that looks nice. Okay, so let's get that into place, which we've done. And then we've got a little piece that we're going to, it's these two pieces, and we're going to glue this piece that already has your caption cut out onto this piece here. And this piece does have some little guides to help you get that nice and centered. So go ahead and get your glue on this piece. Now I am gluing this to a foil. So I'm gonna to need to be a little patient. I'm gonna put this down on my surface because I've got, I've got some little areas here where the caption is that I'm gonna to need to hit with a few little dots here and there. And I would suggest getting little dots on the little tiny cutouts for the little letters like the A and the P, just so that doesn't go moving anywhere. And I'll maybe just dab that a little bit. Okay, so then we're gonna take this piece and this is going flat onto this piece here. Just use those guides to make sure that you get it nice and centered. Okay, that looks nice. Got a nice little scallop border. It's gonna be framing a nice little picture there. That looks great. Okay. And then, it's actually sticking pretty quick. So this, we're gonna pop dot to kind of give this card some dimension. Okay, so we're gonna flip this over <clears throat> and I'm gonna get some foam squares. And I think I'm just gonna use my big ones here. And Try to get it out. Obviously you wanna add a few to the corners. And then I'll probably just put one in the center just below the photo, just so that doesn't droop on me at all. So right about here, I think. And I'm gonna do my little stress test here. Okay, and I probably will want to add some in these little areas here. So I'm gonna take one of my black foam squares and I'm just gonna cut it in half because I don't need a whole one there, but a half a one would probably be very helpful. And they cut very easily, so don't feel like you can't do that. Okay, 
and peel off the backing. And then all that's really left to do then is assemble our small little flower, which will live up here in the corner. Okay. So you just want to line this up with the existing, in my case, the peach piece. Get that nice and lined up. There we go. Just like that. There you go. You can see how nice that looks already. Even without the flower, it's very simple, but of course, Dreaming Tree projects just wouldn't be complete without some flowers. Okay, so we're gonna start with this little fern piece. Okay, and now you see this little, this little, uh, little blip here, this little nipple that's just kind of hanging out. That is gonna get glued right there. And I would probably just glue it there and let the rest of this just kind of hang off. Okay, and we're not doing any sort of training or anything with this piece. This is just gonna lie flat. So just throw a little bit of glue on that little circle there. And this little squiggly, try to just kind of get that up in the corner there. I don't want it hanging off. You try to keep it on the white. So this is gonna kind of bow just like that. Okay, there we go. That's nice. Okay, and then let's take a look here. Our next layer is going to be this little green layer. Okay, and you'll notice that there are two little leaves that are closer together, and then there's two that are further apart. These two are gonna go down to the bottom left, and these are gonna hang up like this, okay? And I do want to, I'm just gonna go ahead and give the, the tips of these leaves a little pinch, just to kind of give them some dimension. Make them pop a little bit, let the shadows kind of play with the, the paper a bit. It can be a little challenging to pinch the leaves on such a small little piece, but you can do it. And I'll just make it stand out even more. There we go. Okay, so now just remember that I'm gonna go ahead and put a little, just a dot of glue right here in this little circle. And just remember that these two leaves are going up to the top right. And you wanna kinda of place it just like, just like that. Okay. And then we'll grab this piece here. Okay, now you'll notice that there's one tiny little leaf here, and that is going to be kind of pointing to the left there, like that. And between those two, I should probably give that a little more time to set before I start messing with it. Okay, but I am gonna go ahead and pinch these as well, just to kind of give them a little, make them a little more interesting. Okay. And if you're, if you've made a few of these cards, you'll notice that I'm not doing any inking on these, and that's totally fine. It's optional. If you want to ink them, you can. Now this little tiny guy, this guy's gonna be a little difficult to pinch. I just kind of stuck my fingernail in there to help crease it. There we go. That works. Okay, so just remember, throw a little dot of glue there right in the center and this tiny little leaf. And that's gonna go off to the left there in between the two other sections, which means that this leaf here should end up in between these two leaves here. Okay, so now we're gonna take our little flower <clears throat> and I'm just gonna curl these petals up. I'm just kinda, kinda curling them onto the little dowel here, kinda like a curling iron, like you're curling your hair. Okay, and then you kinda bring it up a little bit. This is gonna flatten out obviously when you put it in your envelope, so I wouldn't worry about trying to make it two dimensional because it's just going to flatten out eventually, but it will maintain some of that. So there you go. There's a nice little flower element there. I'm going to put a little pearl on there right in the center of my flower. And let me see if I got a scrap piece of paper here. I'll just use this old envelope. It's just a prototype. Throw a little bit of glue right on the back of this pearl. 
and just pop that right in the center of my flower. And there we go. Okay, and that's literally it. There is your card. Super quick, super simple, but I'm sure it will be appreciated. Oh, and of course, no Dreaming Tree card would be complete without an envelope. So let's put that together here. Very simple. Now I've got the envelope here. You want to go ahead and fold everything at the score marks. And we've got a beautiful little motif here to really take this thing to another level. Make it nice and pretty. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to work around this little design here just so that I don't get glue in, in places that it doesn't belong. And I'm going to try to work a little bit out where these little tips are for the flower petals. And I'm going to spread that thin so it doesn't come globbing out. Okay. And then I'm going to take the actual insert here, or not the insert, but the little piece here that's going to create the color and just work a little bit of glue. Oh boy. Right out to the very edges here. And I need to spread that thin because that is going to warp. That is, there's so much glue on there that just came squirting out that that is warp territory if you get that much glue on. Okay. So get your glue on there. Oh, there's a spider. Excuse me, spider. I'm working. Oh, look at him. There he is. Come on, go away. And I'm just going to pop that right on there. I think the spiders around here know that I love Halloween and I'm not even freaked out by them. So they just come and pay me a visit. I believe the Irish think that spiders are actually a sign of good luck. So that was cool. All right. So there we go. So now we just want to take the two sides, the flaps here, and fold them in. Let me clean off my nozzle here real quick. And I'm just going to take a nice thin, <laughs> nice thin line of glue right along the inside edge. There we go. And my glue is just, it's got a mind of its own within the last five minutes here. And we're going to take this flap and fold it up, just press down, get that to hold. And that's it, guys. Simple card. Um, well, I'm going to guess that this video is running about 15 minutes, maybe. And you can't tell me that that is not faster than getting in the car and going out and trying to buy uh, a card at Hallmark and spending way too much money on it. Okay, so there we go. There is our card. And as you can see, I probably shouldn't be doing this right now, but I am. Fits in there nicely. And it is ready for your recipient. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. That lets me know that you enjoy hanging out and crafting with me. And if you make this or any of the new cards from our, our new bundle, we'd love to see them or any project for that matter. Uh, and you can do so by visiting us in the official group on Facebook. So head on over to your Facebook and up in the search box, do a search for Dreaming Tree Group where you can join myself and the 13,000 plus dreamers that inspire us daily. So thank you for hanging out with me and I look forward to crafting with you again.